Good morning, uh, my name's Matt and it's so lovely to be with you guys again. This morning I wanted to talk to you about something called Ascension Day. Now, who can remember what the last big Christian holiday that we just had? It was back in April, so it's a bit long to remember, but maybe you can uh, put your hand up now and you can tell your teacher, or you can pause and uh, just have a little discussion and try and remember what it was. That's right. So we're going to be talking about what happened just after Easter. Now, if you remember, Easter is a time where this guy, Jesus, Jesus has been going around for three years. He's been talking about God. He's been doing miracles. He's been healing people. He's been getting this big gathering together. He's been getting all of these followers. People are really starting to get excited about the idea of God. And they're realising that Jesus might be really special. He might be the son of God. Now, there are these rulers at the time, uh, the people in charge, the, they were called Pharisees, and they didn't like what Jesus was doing. He was stirring people up against them. He was saying that they were wrong and that God wanted to love everybody and all of these rules might be wrong. So they decided they were going to get rid of him. So they arrested him, they rigged the courts and they put him to death. They put him on a cross. You might know the story. They put him on a cross and they left him there to hang and he died. And they took him and they put him in a tomb. And all of his friends were really upset. They thought, we've dedicated all of our time to this guy. He's our friend. We, we love this guy. And it's all come to nothing. It's all ended. And they thought, what are we going to do? But then three days later... The tomb was empty. The stone had rolled out of the way of the front of the tomb and Jesus was gone. They didn't know what had happened. And then all of a sudden people started popping up saying, we've seen Jesus, we've seen Jesus, we've seen Jesus. A couple of his friends said, we've seen Jesus. Then all of Jesus' friends were gathered in a room and Jesus appeared to them and he said, hi, don't be afraid. I'm back. I have defeated death and I am back. Now, for Christians, we believe that this moment is when we truly understand that Jesus is the Son of God, because not even death could stop Jesus. Not even death could stop Jesus from coming back to his friends, coming back to the people he loved and saying, don't be afraid. I am here. I am here with you. So Jesus spent 40 days with them, he told them the next plan. He said, I need you to go out. I need you to tell people about God. I need to tell. I need you to tell people what I've told you. Go out and love each other. Take care of each other. Look after the sick. Look after the weak. Praise God. Have a relationship with God. And then Jesus said, right, this is on you now. I've told you everything I can tell you. I'm going to go back to God. I'm going to go back and be with God because I love God. I am the son of God. I've got to be with God. So they're at this place called the Mount of Olives. And Jesus said to them, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all of Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And as Jesus said this, he rose into the air and he just ascended into heaven. And the idea was Ascension Day is something that as Christians we really celebrate because it's the day when Jesus rose into heaven and he gave us the important job of telling other people about him, telling other people that God loves them, which is what I'm doing with you now. I'm telling you that Jesus came. I believe that Jesus came. He spoke to us, he spent years with us, and he told us how much God loves us, how much God wants us to look after other people, how much he, God wants to have a relationship with us. And then uh, he defeated death and he went back to heaven and he gave us the role to look after people. And we knew this not just because of what Jesus said, but the disciples were stood there after Jesus had ascended. They were looking up, they were amazed, they were wondering, what are we going to do now? And then two angels appeared to them and they said, men of Galilee, why are you standing here looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will one day come back in the same way that you have seen him go. 
So the disciples returned to Jerusalem where they celebrated. They had a meal together. They, they had a meal with Jesus a couple of weeks before. So they celebrated him by doing the same thing again. And then they went out and they told people and they started the church. And that's what I want to celebrate with you. So Ascension Day is a really important day after Easter where we celebrate that Jesus has given us this command to go and tell other people about God, knowing that Jesus will come back and celebrate with us one day. So I'm going to pray for you guys and then that's the end of my assembly. And if you've got any questions, I'd love to hear them. So Lord, I thank you that you've given us this great commission. You've given us this project, this aim in life which is to go and celebrate a life lived with you to go and tell people how much you love us to go and tell people the priorities of life which is to look after other people to introduce them to god to care for this world lord i pray that for anybody who wants to know you that through a simple prayer that you will speak to them in some way so they can know how much you want to know each of these young people. Amen. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you really soon.